Ladies and gentlemen, just when I thought they were done with the Costco stacking tins, Costco brought them back and put them back on sale again. And you know what that means? It means people are going to start buying pallets of this stuff again. And less than a day after they announced the promotion, we got this picture of someone buying an entire pallet of the Costco stacking tins. Literally an hour ago, less than a day of when I think everyone kind of figured out they're bringing back the Costco stacking tins, we have this picture of some guy buying the entire stock of Pokemon stacking tins from a Costco, from their local Costco. Looks like this is a looks like this is up in Wisconsin, but and it's super it's super unfortunate because, you know, you can buy a bunch of tins like whatever, but if you buy all the tins, no one else can get any tins. And I mean, apparently this guy was saying that he bought all the tins and <laughs> and the guy buying the tins, his excuse is that he was donating all of the Pokemon tins. I've never heard of anyone donating a pallet of Pokemon cards before. If that If that's the case, that's fantastic. But it gets juicier because... We know now for a fact that he's not donating these tins. He is reselling these tins because somebody has already identified the shop and who this guy is. And <laughs> I looked down in the comments and it's, it's really not that hard. I mean, they've already somehow identified this guy. Uh, I guess the store is called the Pokey Shop. I went and clicked on their website. And what do you know? If you go on to their website, their website... Um, the store's location is in Wisconsin, so I mean that checks out. But if you go and see what they have to offer, they do have Pokemon stacking tins, the same ones from Costco on their website for $14.99. Uh, and that's just for one. And if this guy had the $22 stacking tin, the three pack deal, then that means, I mean, he's making the math is if you buy them for about $22 for a pack of three, each one is like seven seven and a half bucks so if he's selling them for 15 he's making like over 50 percent margin on on these tins and that's that's super easy money right there i just knew i just knew when when uh i saw the alert on my costco on my costco app that they're doing big deals and pokemon was included in the deal i just knew i just knew i could check the subreddits and something like this was going to pop out and lo and behold there it is i just had to make a video for you guys I can't believe how fast these guys are. They, 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 he, this guy was ready to put down a fat check to get all of these, all these tins. I don't, I don't really care too much about if you buy and open or resell, like, what are you going to do? The problem is, <laughs> I think the biggest problem with me, for me, the biggest problem for me with this post is that he said he was going to donate them, which is just a fat lie. Just say, yeah, I'm going to go sell them yeah, I'm a, I'm a reseller or just don't say anything at all. Why would you lie and say it, it sucks? Cause one, he lied just a big fat, ugly lie. It didn't even make sense. And two, he took the entire stock. So the guy that took this photo, I guess he was trying to buy some too. He couldn't get one cause he wouldn't let him have any of them. He took all of them. He took all of them, the entire warehouse of stock. I remember when this came out like two or three months ago, like I wanted to, I wanted to do an opening video on these, but I couldn't cause I, I just couldn't find them. Um, which is probably I mean, you can see probably why, but but I thought it was uh, really interesting. Wanted to share it with you guys. Comment down below what what do you what do you guys think? What do you think about you know resellers or scalpers buying like an entire inventory of of Pokemon products you know at a retail store? Like it, it it's it's crazy, man. It is crazy. That's pretty much all I had. Um, I'll see you guys later. Peace.